out. Matthew McConaughey doesn't wear deodorant or perfumes. Dax Shepard doesn't use soap every time he showers. Bradley Cooper doesn't wear deodorant. Shia LaBeouf doesn't wear deodorant. Jake Gyllenhaal doesn't bathe every day. Jessica Simpson only brushes her teeth three times a week, but she uses mouthwash daily. Zac Efron doesn't shower often. He wipes himself down with baby wipes. Simon Baker doesn't wear deodorant either. Shailene Woodley, she doesn't wear deodorant either. Cameron Diaz doesn't believe in antiperspirant. Tom Ford doesn't even use his own fragrances that he designs. Alicia Silverstone, not a deodorant wearer. Now, a lot of these people's co-workers are like, oh my god, they stink. But come on, these are preppy people that have never seen bad or something terrible across their delicate nasal passages. So they obviously complain. But if a person bathes themselves and washes their armpits and their clothes are clean, they don't smell like anything but a breeze. They smell like water tastes. There's no smell at all. It's like odorless. Antiperspirants may contribute to breast cancer. Aluminum may be a greater concern if you have kidney problems. I mean, look, I mean, it's just aluminum-based compounds. It has parabens in it. Parabens can act like a hormone, the, the hormone estrogen in the body that disrupt the normal function of hormone systems affecting male and female reproductive functioning. Reproductive, development, fertility, and birth outcomes. And it interferes with the production of hormones. Not to mention the fact and get this, your lymph nodes are in your neck, armpit, and groin. Lymph nodes are like kidneys, but on a cellular level. They filter the blood similar to kidneys, but they also make sure the composition is correct. In a chemical sense. The antibacterial com compound, triclosan, has been linked to numerous health problems. Triclosan, deodorant. Propylene glycol and other petrochemicals. That's antifreeze. So whenever I'm feeling, you know, not so fresh, I go outside, get some antifreeze out of my trunk, and then splash my armpits with it. While I'm doing that, I might as well just go ahead and get some motor oil and put it around my neck and, you know, use that for some an some aftershave. I might want to go ahead and mist myself with some gasoline while I'm at it, too, to give me that fresher smell. Because all of these are hydrocarbons, and all of them are carcinogenic, meaning they're basically well-known cancer agents. Well, check it out. 